Now the question is... Hmm. No, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do a game four tonight. I'm gonna do game four tonight. I'm still feeling good. I I absolutely can do with another stream, uh, another game this stream. I want to finish it up tonight, y'all. All right. Do I want to change the batting order? The Jorge, Justin, and Lisa all in a row is really killing me because if they're all in the same inning, that's just the whole inning gone. They're, they, it's not gonna continue past that. Then again, that does mean they're up at bat less, because they're at the end of the batting order. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off of I'm gonna go off of the theory that last game was just a fluke and that we're gonna win this one. Let's try. Welcome back to the action fan. It looks as though our favorite players have made it to another round in the BBL Ultra Grand World Championship of the Universe series. Sunny Day here. Along with Vinny the Gooch, welcoming you friends of the feather to another edition of Baseball Madness. Going head to head in today's game are the Junior All-Stars and the Inky Squid. This has been quite an exciting season for these kids, and the All-City BBL playoffs are in sight. These kids should be very proud. What do you mean the playoffs are in sight? We already beat the playoffs, Vinny. Hard and it's We're at the off. championship. So, what are we waiting for? One thing, one thing the bug used, the, sometimes the AI teams would be named fiends of. that didn't make sense, like the green all-stars when they're not even green. I, I loved making my own team where it's like, we're going to be the red rockets and we're pink. That was always fun. That was always funny to me. All right, so we're away the again, so we're batting today first. Is Jay green. He likes to eat left-handed hitters for breakfast. He also likes dandelions, walks in the park, and science fiction movies. All right, Pete Wheeler. I'm still holding out for that home run. To show them all who rocks hardest. But I think what am I, I think I'm actually game? gonna hit line drive with Pete. I feel like that's a better chance of him getting on base if it's a line drive. I'm not swinging. And my reasoning is, I kind of just want Pete to get on base, and if he hits a power, he usually hits a pop fly, and they catch it, and he doesn't get on base. Whereas with a line drive, that's more straight and true, so unless they're like in just the right spot, it's probably going to touch the ground. And if it touches the ground, and it's in the outfield, Pete's getting on base. Anytime you get that second strike on you, it gets pretty tough to fight back. One and two. He comes center. The one-two pitch. Swing. Foul ball. And the count is one and two. From the windup, the delivery. The wing. It's going up the right Don't field catch. If so, homie, if they catch that. Are you kidding me? What the? Uh, I freaking hate this team so much. Not my team, the squids. This team is just so unfair. Target goes up. Here's the pitch. Swing. Right to the pitcher, that's an out. That little blooper skin, I'm running. I know these kids can keep it Line drive means hit it to the outfield, please. Combo. Shining star of this team of stars. Please grace us with a home run. From the stretch, the pitch, the wing. That is not a home run, Pablo Sanchez. I'm running. Oh my gosh. What do you mean that's not out of play? That's bogus. At least he got on base. How is that not out of play? He got stuck on the banquet table. Oh well. Different rules for the super colossal dome. That's fine. Keisha Phillips, you can knock it out of the park, right? He comes center, throws it. Swing, strike one. Runner on first, the lit two Keisha has more lag at the start of her swing compared to other players, and it throws me off every time. That's foul. That little blooper and I'm running. And she goes down. Why are my char Why do my characters trip, like, every time they turn around? The only parent person who doesn't is Kenny, and that's because he's physically incapable of doing that. 
Darn it. Oh, it man. If that wasn't foul, that would have been gorgeous. And now they're just wasting their juice. Because it's not, it doesn't let me turn them around mid-run. And they're just running back and forth over and over again. Come on, Keisha, please. If they if they called that as a strike, I would be so ticked. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't. Again, that that extra half a second of lag, it, it really does mess with me. Oh, they've actually changed their batting order a few times. We've got Lisa Crockett pitching now. If it curves, yeah, we know we, we know about Lisa's prowess as a pitcher. Windup, Let's get Dunkel out. This is you, Jorge. He's got it. Great shot to first. Throws it over. Quick throw to second. Jorge, if you screw up like you did, good. Why did she go to second? Litter, if she, if she had stayed on first, she probably would have gotten home. And now I'm at a point where even pitching low and inside doesn't help because they can still get stupidly good hits off of that. Jacinda, throw it to Kenny. Nice job. Nice teamwork. We have to keep them from scoring. It doesn't matter if we take forever to score. We have to keep them from scoring. I can hold out as long as need be. Yeah, they're just getting hits off of everything. Nice job, Lisa. I really love having a pitcher that's also a big fielder. Okay. Dimitri, Tony, Jorge. At least we don't have all three of our crap players at bat at the same time. We're spreading the love out. I've got it out this pitcher, so I know what throws are coming. I feel like maybe my team is just choking because it's the championship. Right to their left fielder, I think. Unless it drops first. Oh, that was nice, Dimitri. Nice single. Nice job, Dimitri. All right, Tony, that batting average is just a little bit on the low side. Can we up it a bit? Let's see what you got. Well, Tony is he can't up his batting average unless he gets a home run because all their team are lightning fast. And Tony is the opposite. Or they could walk in. I guess he could get on base that way as well. He winds, cuts to the plate, swing, and a foul ball, one and one. The ball has to be right around here in order for Tony to get a good hit off of it. He comes center, the one-one pitch, a swing. And even and that's not ball. a guarantee, go back, Dimitri, no go way. back. <laughs> oh look, like clockwork, both of my players tripped at the same time. Like, is it really that hard to turn around without tripping? And I don't think so. That's a nice hit, but they're going to catch that, aren't they? Right. Yeah, and that's going to be out. No, it's not because their outfielders, for some reason, are the only players who don't have good arms. Okay, well, that's still not great, because now we have Jorge and Jocinda. Neither one of them are particularly good at getting the plate. And even if they somehow get on base, then we have Lisa after that, who's guaranteed to have it's basically Super Smash Bros. Brawl with all the tripping. Accurate. Very accurate, Jay, yes. I don't remember the championships being this hard. Granted, I think I've only made it to the championships once before in my life. Did not expect that to hook at the end. All right, we might. See, yeah, we act, we might see game five. I sure hope not. I thought for sure we could get by for just free games. Jacinda, please, you hit only one home run, and you're supposed to be the home run queen. You keep saying, watch this home run, and it's time for a home run. You've only gotten one home run the entire season. Yeah, well, there's, there's no way I can hit that. <laughs> That's an out. She only ever hits pop flies. 
Oh my gosh, they're stupid. Oh my gosh, he's stupid. How does... I swear half the time Jocinda has gone on base, she's hit a pop fly that's easy to catch, and the computer player has just dropped it for no reason. Oh my gosh. Here goes nothing. If Lisa Crockett can get a home run here, it will be the most legendary play in the history of plays. Take it's not going to happen. Pitch on the way. But if it did, it would be Foul hilarious. Runners on first and second, two out. Honestly, line drive's my best bet. Line drive into the outfield, and hopefully everyone advances, and then Here's Pete Wheeler. That is basically my only option, because there's... I've never seen Lisa Crockett get a home run before. There's a handful of players I've never seen get a home run before. Lisa's on that list. Gretchen Hasselhoff is on that list. Ricky Johnson's on that list. So is Vicky Kawaguchi. But why did it have to be Lisa? That's a shame. But this means next inning, we're back to a strong part of our lineup. Okay, great. We've got the free, overpowered players up and back. <laughs> Jay, Julie, and Leah. Alright, we gotta get them out. They're gonna get a home run, I'm sure. Yeah, that's... That looks... Pete, please, catch this. Pete! Well, that's a problem, Pete. It should. Couldn't quite cut the mustard Does Gretchen on have the same voice actor as Bubbles on Powerpuff Girls? I have no clue. I've never seen Powerpuff Girls. I am not happy with this development. I am not. Well, I don't have a fancy pitch, Vinny. I am not happy with this. With, with Jay on first and Leah Wayne with her maxed out stats at bat, I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. Please get out, please get out, please get out. Yes! Okay. That's a big weight off, because Leah Wayne is terrifying. And then her identical twin, Debbie. Oh, that's right, not Julie. Don't go, it's Debbie. Best case scenario is she just barely nicks it, Tony can throw it to second, and then we can get a double play. That is best case scenario. Also, a strikeout would be a number one scenario. At least they haven't scored yet. I don't care if I haven't scored yet as long as they haven't scored yet. That's a good hit. Dimitri, get that. Dimitri got that, and it is good. And Dane, he almost... That was quite the arm, Dimitri. You are on it today. Dimitri is on his A game. Oh, yes. Please hit it close. Please hit it close so I can just cheese you like this. Just keep throwing them, Lisa. Oh, man. Get her out. And that's the inning. Nice job, team. You played really well this inning. Let's not. All right, Pete, Kenny, Pablo, we're back to the beginning and the strong part of our lineup. Good. He is. He does have power. Yeah, yeah. Power with Pete. Power with Pete. Into the wind of fire. A swing. The right one. Nobody out. They are, they, they are pitching really well. The wind up and the pitch. Direct two. You and, your, you and your cheap freezing pitches. From the wind up, the delivery. A swing. And a foul ball. I'm not sure if I've ever been able to hit the big freeze. The only way to hit it is to know in advance it's going to be the big freeze. She's set. Pitch on the way. Ball one. And the count is one and two. Yes, please throw a spitball to tire yourself out. I really like that idea, Leah Wayne. Bowling for dollars. And the count is two and two. I would love it if they walked Pete. Pete's the best player for them to walk. Here's the motion. The two-two pitch. Swinging. That's foul. Ground ball. That's it's not foul! Okay, I do not I do not trust Pete to go to second, because I'm sure she has a bazooka. 
Just stay on first, Pete. That's all you need to do. Here I go. Okay. Not gonna. I was debating doing a grounder. That would be a little too risky. The white dove and the offering. The swing. Oh, that was a beautiful hit, Kenny. I don't care if you got out your fist, Pete the second, and that's good. It's tough not to let him out shake you up. These kids have to keep their cool. Okay. Pablo. Pablo Sanchez. You are our savior. You need to get us a home run. She's ready and delivered. Get us that home run! Get us that home run, Pablo! Viva Pablo Sanchez! And that is why you pick Pablo. Oh, good. That gives us two points. That is... That's such a weight off my chest. <laughs> Thank you, Pablo. Thank you. What a turnaround. Pablo Pablo started... This season started with Pablo being my worst player, and he is now by far my best. Keisha, on the other hand, has been a bit of a disappointment. Oh, darn it. Darn it. Their team is getting a little bit gassed, though. You like how Sunny Day reacts with surprise to each individual kid reaching home base when it's a home run that can't be interfered with. Yeah. That was stupid. That was a ball. Dimitri, even if you strike out here, that's fine. And if you get a home run, that would be great! Nope, straight to their left fielder. Oh, she drops it. She dropped it! Okay, that's this side. These two players right here. Not very good. They're slow and they can't catch as much. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell right there. Alright, Tony. I'm, I've been disappointed by your performance in the championship. But I still believe in you because I've seen your powers. And your powers are great! But they're gonna catch that, darn it. Yeah, caught it with the back of their head. That's okay, Tony. I was impressed with the speed. They got seen on Fred and Chewie. We can we can get we can get this chemistry kid out. Xenon, you're nothing. Thank goodness he's slow. Because having a slow pitcher and a slow catcher is not best. That's honestly something. The stretch, he delivers. Pete, don't overshoot this, Pete. Don't overshoot this. Pete! Stop dropping everything! Good lord, this is getting annoying. It's the third time. I'm. Jorge, just stay there and get him out. Good. I don't even trust Jorge to run and meet the person. In the Why do they do that? Why is it every time it's like they made it to first, second base, or froze it to the catcher, they start running to second? Like, do they think I don't notice they're doing that? Did one of the hecklers just say Papa Wheelie? Yes, they did. By the way, hi, Goku the Hedgehog 2. Welcome. Glad to see you're here. And it's funny they're saying Papa Wheelie because uh, Pete Wheeler's nickname is Wheelie. What are Jorge's stats? He's a 2 out of 4 at everything. I used to think he was a free at batting, or I used to think he should have been a free at batting, but no, no, two at everything's kind of a problem. Yeah. 
shut them down. We just need to keep them shut down. Oh boy. The all stars are shining bright tonight. And here come my low stars. Which makes it difficult for him to play very aggressively. That would explain why Pete keeps dropping fans. He hasn't really dropped anything until the championship, though. The rest of the season, he was a very good fielder. Strike one, and the count is 0-1. Put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Target goes up, and the pitch. Another strike, 0-2. Pressure is getting to him then? Maybe. I feel like Pablo seems to be thriving under pressure by contrast. You, I had to I had to swing because they would have called that as a strike if I hadn't. Whatever. I honestly am cool with them getting special pitches, because that just gives me a chance to get a special bat. Alright, Jacinda. There's no point in even using the line drive with Jacinda. That's a solid hit, but that's not a home run. Just gonna catch that. Because they can they can make their characters move to a place and stop. Pete doesn't stop, he just keeps it going. Swing, but not much accuracy. Here goes nothing. Jorge is better at soccer. I did notice that when I played backyard soccer, it felt like a lot of the a lot of the players who were really bad at baseball were really good at soccer. Like Ricky Johnson, who's one of the worst at baseball, was like the best at soccer. I think Gretchen was a bit better as well. From the lined up and the throw. A swing. Whoops. Although I, I want to say like the one. I want to say in the like the one constant between all the backyard games is that Kimmy Ekman is consistently bad. In like every game. <laughs> you could you can argue she's okay in basketball, but. Oh, great. Yeah, whatever. That's just what I want whatever, to that's fine. Ernie Steele is also good in soccer. I just wish Ernie was faster. There's no reason a kid who's that tall should be that small. Not really. Two points up in the championship is not as much as two points up in the regular season. Now's a good time to use a breaking ball. Looks like a right okay. Cut. Don't try this. And time out. I'm making a tactical decision. Tony and Lisa are my catcher and pitcher, respectively, and they're both very slow. So if a character bunts and they're super fast, they're getting on base. I think what I'm going to do is put Kenny as the catcher. Kenny's good as catcher because he's a lot faster and he's got a good arm. I don't want Tony on first base, though, because I don't know how good he is at catching things. So I'm going to put Jocinda there, and Tony's going to be my new shortstop. That's what I'm going to do. Marty, welcome back. We are on game four. I won the first two games, and then third game was awful. Like, it, everything was rigged against me. Like, the ump, I have never seen such blatant cheating on their part. The ump was making the, literally the worst calls. But we are now in the fourth game, bottom of the fourth, and we're two points up. So I'm cautiously optimistic. Dane, that was a nice hit. Right to Jorge, though. Dane, Jorge. Nice. Okay, Jay Green, we really got to watch out for this kid. Or not. Nice job, Jacinda. That's the thing. Okay, that's the thing about Jorge. Jorge has very high highs and very low lows. All of my worst plays this season have been because of Jorge. But he also has made some spectacular catches, and he hit a glorious home run. All right, Pete. I'm going to hit a touchdown. I want to see you hit a touchdown. Let's do it. From the stretch and the pitch. That's no touchdown, that's a pop fly, and she's stupid fast, so she's gonna catch it. Low floor and ceiling, kind of. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. We're gonna hit power with Kenny, because why not? I really do want to see Kenny hit a home. Ready now, throws it. Slice it, one out. And delivers. That was ball one, one and one. Why 
Why are they cheering when it was a ball? That's funny. All right, Kenny. Takes the stretch, cuts to the plate. Looped up. And that's an out. Pablo Sanchez. All right, Pablo. My best player by far. Can we get another? Can we get another home run? Can you pull a Petey Piranha from Mario Sunshine? From the stretch, the pitch. A swing. Well, one back. Two outs. Pablo Sanchez. Takes the stretch. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Okay, there's no way even the ump could call that as a strike. Target goes up. The one one pitch. Swing. It's foul back. One and two. Pablo. Pablo. One two pitch. Ball two. They need to they really need to stop spitting on the balls. That's only draining their energy. On the way. That's a foul. You can foul as much as you want, Pablo. Just don't let him get another strike. Target goes up. A two-two pitch. Ball three. Three and two. Full count. Two outs. Oh boy. Into the motion. Throws it. Throws it. They walked Pablo. All right. I, I can work with that. Yes, I'm very happy. I'm ahead. The problem is they're, all of their characters are maxed out at batting, so there always is the risk where they can just get a home run out of nowhere and there's nothing I can do about it. All right, Keisha. We've got Pablo on first. If there's ever a time for you to get a home run, it's now. The, uh, the, end, the beginning lag always hits me. Take their stretch and the throw. Walk on. Looped up. All these pop flies, man. Oh my gosh. They both made it to base. Mr. Consistent Dmitry Petrovich is up next. Whew. Dmitry Petrovich back. Mr. Consistent, he always gets on base. Granted, there's this entirely possible that he'll get on base, but someone else will get out. But we've been, we've, 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 it's been, a, it's been a while since we've gotten a Dmitry Petrovich home run. I think it's time to get another one. We're due for it. We're due for a home run! No, not a home run. Right to Dunkle. That's okay, Dmitry. That's okay, we're still up by two points. The All-Stars winning up by two. The All-Stars are shining bright tonight. Well, it's not Mr. Consistent today, apparently. Leah Wayne steps up to bat. All right, it's bottom of the fifth. Leah Wayne. Target goes up, the pitch. We have not gotten very many strikeouts. We haven't really needed strikeouts because we don't need the juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Their team is finally tired out, and they're not fast. I'm very happy about this. We do have the big freeze. Honestly, though, the big freeze, especially in the championships, is not even a cheese because the computer knows when it's coming, and they can just hit it. Now's a good time to use a breaking ball. And plus, that'll tire me out. And I don't have any juice. And I really don't want to swap Lisa with Kenny. Nice job. Nice job. I also always forget that this fielding thing here even exists. Really? Please hit the Jumbotron. Please hit the Jumbotron. Oh my gosh, I hit the Jumbotron. Rocket at Pete! Get her out! Get her out! You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm just glad it wasn't a home run. That was close, though. I'll take that, though. I will take that to the bank. I will gladly give them a double instead of a home run. Got out of the fifth inning. 
We're still two points up. This is looking good. Unfortunately, other than Tony, we've got our terrible people up at bat next. No one can stop these maniacs today. You say that, Vinny, but they could. They could get really lucky in the last inning, or they could or they can give the, the ump 220s and he'll just call every fade what, as they want him to. Into the motion, pitch on the way. I also love, I, I consistently reference giving people 220s. At this point, nobody, even the people who've watched my channel know what I'm talking about because it's referring to a running gag that first appears in a Let's Play that I haven't even uploaded yet. <laughs> From the windup and the offering... Ball. Master Tony, you've really, you've really been dropping the ball on this. I was expecting at least one home run by Tony. Uh, Marty, two twenties is from uh, Apollo Justice. <laughs> Pop fly, they're going to catch that, so and that's an out. Even the best have off days. <laughs> Not Pablo. <laughs> All right, well, considering Lisa's after her, I have to just pray for a home run if I want to score. And the offering, long on, hit hard. That's a... F that was actually a decent hit, but she's still not going to get the first because she's molasses. The All Stars winning. Jacinda, you fruity. The All Stars are shooting high tonight. I am convinced that Jocinda just calls herself the MVP, and that nobody actually gave her that nickname. She gave it to herself. <laughs> Jojo, you could be any kind of baseball player you want. Yeah, well, she chose to be a bad one. That calls herself a good one. All right, Tony. Master Tony, catch the ball. You must. <laughs> Your powers are astounding. Julie Dunkel with a .09 batting average. From the lineup and the pitch. Right one. All right, it's the bottom of the six. Just gotta get them out. Wrong, JoJo Goku. We were talking about um, JoJo from Horton Hears the lineup, the delivery. No, Prince Dust 220s is not anything from the game Apollo Justice. It is a joke we made in our Apollo Justice Let's Play that we have already recorded, but we won't be uploading for a while. Takes the stretch and delivery. Yeah. All right, Pablo. Pablo, you've dropped everything. Redeem yourself. Oh my gosh, Pablo actually caught something. That is the championship. We are the rulers of the universe. The All Stars are the BBL champions of the universe. Two zero. They've won it. They've won it. Pablo, full redemption. These kids are the champions of the universe. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Tell you one thing, not one of those kids is ever gonna forget this day. You can bet on it. And as the players celebrate their victory, it's time for us to say goodbye to you. This is Sunny Day and Penny the Gooch saying, see you next season. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yes, Marty, it, we... No, Marty, we were only playing against the Inky Squids. The two of us were battling it for the best. It was best of five games between us. We win! Coach Artie's All-Stars, best in the universe. We come through a, we came through a lot of adversity this season, but we stuck together as a team, said Joseph Smith, the All-Stars co-captain. We've had three different co-captains, and they all say the same thing. The fans are the real winners here, said Joseph Smith, choking back the tears. They picked Joseph Smith, who was like the worst player both times. <laughs> Jocinda was actually the worst player in these games. She didn't do anything. At least Jorge made some spectacular catches. <laughs> wow. Jocinda's just like, I'm the MVP! I'm the MVP! I'm doing the quotes! <laughs> oh my gosh. We won the trophy. Wait, World Tour? Is there more after this? We are the ultra grand champions of the universe. Take that, squids. In your face. You deserve that. Even with, even when you rigged the ump, you still couldn't win. <laughs> wow. 
Oh man, that was exciting. This was such... <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to stream Backyard Baseball on a whim. <laughs> this was amazing. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> For next season, right now, though, I'm thinking I'm going to be keeping Pablo and Tony for sure. Probably Pete and then either Dimitri or Lisa. One or the other. And then the others are all probably going to go. Still less time than the Clannad streams. <laughs> True. Well, that's because I like... I can play more of Clannad in one sitting than I can of Backyard Baseball in a sitting. I get tired of Backyard Baseball a bit faster. Also, one thing I might do next season is I might do two games per stream instead of just one, because otherwise it's like half-hour streams. So what is the world to it? Oh, it's just the credits. I don't remember our team going to Egypt. Mount Rushmore? Dane. They're just... <laughs> that's the exact same photo, just with different backgrounds. <laughs> Great Wall of China? What?! Why can't we actually play on these courses? Rhett Mathis, thank you. Get down with your favorite baseball players. Mini Tower of Pizza. It's them traveling with the cup. Who is funding this trip around the world? Another chance to show them all who rocks hardest. I remember when Pablo traveled the world as the greatest baseball player. Oh, Red Mathis composed the music as well? Oh man, he did like everything. I don't remember this music. Jorge seems rich, he's funny. Jorge is rich. He's the 28th wealthiest child in the world, according to Backyard Basketball. This is cool. It's not as satisfying as the pizza party in uh, Backyard Soccer, though. And a high fly ball to center field. That outfielder's gonna need a plane ticket to catch this one. Running back. Leaps up. And makes an unbelievable catch against the wall. Oh, man. My chair is making a lot of noise by me rocking it. <laughs> Marty never got the pizza party in Backyard Soccer. You were impatient. It takes a lot of effort to get the pizza party. No hot dogs were consumed in the making of this game. Okay, maybe a few. <laughs> That's great. Whew. Hi, Zide Pie. Did you hear soccer? I, I mentioned it. Mr. Clanky wants to play, too. Hold down the shift key and click on Mr. Clanky in the trophy case. I already knew how to do that. But Mr. Clanky, honestly, is not that great of a character. He's the best pitcher in the game by far, but, like, he really sucks at batting. If you think this game is fun, wait until you see Backyard Soccer. It'll be good times. <laughs> Alright, I think the credits are just gonna repeat after a bit. Yeah, yeah. The credits just repeat after a while. That's a cool little thing, though. I like that. Oh, yeah, I know about the Easter egg of Pablo speaking English. Okay, don't tell the other kids, but, uh, I speak English. I learned Spanish in school. <laughs> it's great. I also love how, like, you can talk to a bunch of the different players, and you can, like, learn funny stories about them. So, like, one of them I remember, uh, like, if you talk to Kimmy Ackman a bunch, she's like, my grandma gave me, like, a pony doll once, and it was super stupid. So I used it as, like, cat as pitching practice and, like, beat it up a bunch. And then if you talk to Maria Luna, she'll be like, I love collecting pony dolls. One of them I found really beaten up in Kimmy's yard, but I fixed it up, and now it's great. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah, right now it's looking like Pablo and, T Pablo and Tony are definitely going to stay. Tony, at this point, is a meme. I have to keep him on the team. I, and Pablo, you have to keep him because he's the best. Pete, I would love to keep as well. And I'd also... I'd be okay with keeping Lisa. I'd also be okay with, like, ditching Lisa and getting a new main pitcher. And I like Dimitri a lot. Jorge, Jocinda, and Jocinda are definitely going. Keisha and Kenny are almost certainly going as well. <laughs> Add Luan Louis for the memes. I consider her to be bottom five characters. I could, though. 
And again, because she, sh she shares the same problem as Gretchen, which is her two biggest strengths are her speed and her pitching. And if you make her the pitcher, her speed decreases. And she can't feel. So she has to be pitcher, basically. And you have to just pray you get juice. And she's not even as good of a pitcher as, say, Lisa or Angela. But we'll worry about that next season, which I'm not going to start streaming season two, like, right away. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I would, I do, I do want to play Donkey Kong Country GBA Hero Mode for, first. That's been something I've wanted to do for a while. That'll be fun. Thank you all for joining in. This was an awesome journey, and I'm really glad so many people got interested in this series. I hope you guys all had a fun time. Hero Mode tomorrow? No, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow, Prince Dusk. And honestly, one thing I've been wondering is because Marty's going to visit me over the weekend, and I kind of want to record with her, I'm not sure if there will be a Clannad stream this week either. I'm not sure how I would be able to fit that in. I'd also have to see if I would be able to do it Thanksgiving week as well, or I might just go on a stream hiatus for a couple weeks while celebrating the holidays with family. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted in case that happens. And again, you can join my Discord server, and you can get stay up to date with stuff like that. Anyhow... Uh, should we raid somebody tonight? How much homework do you have, Marty? Because you know how long these Clannad streams go. They go for hours. <laughs> okay, we got a couple people we could raid. Well, well, we can talk about that later, Marty. Yeah, if people want, we can... I'm going to raid uh, a guy named JM. I've played Among Us with him a couple times. He's cool. <laughs> and he's currently playing Phasmophobia, which is apparently like you hunt ghosts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, stream message, I think, will be hashtag we are the champions. <laughs> because, well, we are the champions, indeed. Yeah, I've played Among Us, Marty. I like playing it occasionally, but I'm not, like, super into it. Anyhow, what's his exact username again? It's not just JM. Okay, 58. Alright, thank you all again for watching. I really ha I'm really glad I had a Twitch chat with this. You guys kept things lively. And I'm really glad that I was able to make some entertaining videos. And again, the, the VODs for this will go up on YouTube pretty soon. Thank you all so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And God bless. Oh, darn it. Already with the raid. Let's go. How's it going? Prince Dusk, we are the champions. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Already, Mark.